Right? You seem a little nervous. I'm lost. I need to get to the other side of this trench, and I can't find my way. Hey! I need to cross the trench, too. Maybe I can help you. I really doubt it. I mean, I've been stuck out here for days. The fog is too thick to see very far. You'll get just as lost as I am. This fog is pretty bad, huh? Yeah. You need a lighthouse to cross this place without getting hopelessly lost. Have you noticed all the strangely shaped coral formations around here? Those are skulls. Well, whatever they're called, aren't they pretty? They're dreadful. That's not a very positive attitude. I'm gonna go. Sure. Whatever. Hello again, fellow traveler. What? Oh, it's you. I'm gonna go. Sure, whatever. It's too foggy to see. I could get eaten by a Gru. Those rocks just sitting there. They think they're so cool. Look at those rocks just sitting there. They think they're so cool. That thing is scary. Hotel Deep Six. Not exactly five star from the look of it. I wouldn't crawl underneath there without a really good reason. Those look comfortable, but this is no time to sit down. Here. It is indeed. Oh, indeed it is. Isn't this sort of an odd place for such a swank hotel? What can I tell you? Speculative real estate is a risky business. And I got this place for a song. The land was an old oyster bed. Nobody would touch it. I demand room service. Two Krabby Patties to my room immediately. You don't have a room. Well then, I demand mouth service. Two Krabby Patties to my mouth immediately. How about lip service? I think I could accommodate your gracious and noble personage there, sir. Are you insulting me? Because if you are, you do it better than anyone I've ever met. If that is truth, then my life was not in vain. Well, nice talking to you. Your suavity. Your elegant way with words. I shan't soon forget you. Hello again, Patrick. Hi there, SpongeBob. Oh, forget it. I can't do that right now. Wow, your room is so much bigger than mine. Well, bigger than I imagine mine would be, if I had one. I'm guessing you usually knock before coming into a person's room? Nah, don't see much point. No, 
this room, huh? I'm of the opinion that it has a vaguely larcenous motif. You can say that again. And I still won't understand it. Are you all right, ma'am? You seem upset. No, I'm not all right, as a matter of fact. Somebody stole my pearls last night from right out of this very room. And whomever it was left this strange orb in its place. I'm in a state of shock. Pearls, huh? Patrick, what do you think? I think it's a job for Detective SpongeBob and Inspector Star. Me too. Never fear, madam. We have never lost a case or even taken on a case. In either case, we have a perfect record. To be brief, case. Oh, dear. We will investigate this matter fully. Search every nook and cranny for clues, just in case. Be all over this place like a cheap suit. Case. I, I don't know what to say. Inspector Star, we must keep our eyes peeled. Give everything a long, hard look. If people think we're rude, so be it. If staring will solve this crime, then we shall stare. Case. <laughs> Staircase. May we ask you some questions about the incident? I suppose so. When was the last time you saw your pearls? Last night. I'm not sure of what time, but they were on the table next to the lantern. I don't know how someone could have gotten in here without me hearing them. Was your door locked last night? Yes, I lock it when I go to sleep. I leave it unlocked otherwise, assuming people will be courteous enough to knock before barging in. Apparently, I was wrong on that count. Thanks. Well, nice talking to you. Yes, a pleasant mindless break for me as well. Those are strange holes. They look like wood rot, but it's too dark to see down them. If only I had more light. Hi. What are you doing in my room? Hi, I'm with room service, and we're checking with all the tenants to see if they'd like a complimentary mint with their next meal. You don't look like you're with room service. Although I bet you can clean a mean dish. That, sir, is out of line, but true. I'm looking into the disappearance of some pearls. Oh, yeah? Nice. So what's it got to do with me? Well, I was hoping I could ask you some questions about it. Mm -hmm. Fine. Only don't take too long. I'm a busy guy. Lots of irons in the fire, you know? Where were you last night? I stayed in. It was kind of stormy last night. Kicked up all sorts of fog over the plains. I didn't want to get caught out there. You didn't leave your room at all? I didn't say that. I said I stayed in. I went to the lobby and read a magazine for a while. May have wandered around the halls a bit, but I didn't leave the hotel. Did you see anything or anyone suspicious while you were walking around? Not particularly. The manager was asleep at his desk. Aside from him, I didn't run into anybody. The manager was asleep at his desk? Yeah, snoring quite loudly, in fact. Made it difficult to read. I almost woke him up, but on second thought, realized he's even more annoying when he's awake. Anything else you can think of that might help? Nothing unusual happened last night at all? Well, now that you mention it, I heard quite a bit of noise before I went to sleep, coming from beneath the floorboards. Sounded like something dragging. Dragging sounds? Hmm. That's what I said. Do you know what all these holes in the floor are? I don't know what caused them, but the other day I saw an oyster pop out of one of them. It must have seen me, because it ducked back inside immediately. I see. Thanks. Well, nice talking to you. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Hello again. 
Do I need to call hotel security? Well, nice talking to ya. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. luck with which I've been graced. Someone fanned me, I may think. Do you know one of your tenants had some pearls stolen from her? Yes, Victoria Ellen in room one. How could I not know she has made quite a stink about it? May I ask you some questions about the crime? If you must. Where were you on the night of yesterday? I was here. At this desk, the same place I am every night and every day, I don't sleep well. Mm -hmm. I see. And did you see anyone suspicious come through the lobby? Let me think. Red came through in the early evening. He stayed in room two. Strange person. But he pays his bills on time, which is more than I can say for Victoria. Mm. Nobody else? Well, um, all right. All right, I confess. I cannot withstand your incisive and brutal questioning. I did it. I took her pearls. Just please, no more of these vicious questions. Really? You did it? No. I was kidding. What are you, some kind of knucklehead mixed spasmatron? Barnacles! Do you know anything about Mrs. Allen? Well, I know. She's been staying here for a month and hasn't paid her bills. What is wrong with her? She obviously has money, but I'm not seeing any of it. Do you know anyone who might want to take Victoria's pearls? Let me think. You? Ah, now we are getting somewhere. Where might I find this mysterious you? In a mirror. I see, I see. Uh -huh. Interesting. Thanks. Well, nice talking to you. Your suavity, your elegant way with words. I shan't soon forget you. Those rocks just sitting there. They think they're so cool. I think I'm gonna stay out here. Why? I, uh, I, I'm afraid of caves. But you live under a rock. And? Well, I mean, a cave, a rock. Are you saying my house is like a cave? Well, not really. Uh, slightly cave-ish, maybe. I gotta pretend like I didn't hear that. Okay, okay, have it your way. Wait here, I won't be long. Cannot be lost when one is at home. 
I am Charles Oscar William Piedmont Augustus Winthorpe, and the world is my backyard. From the Marianas Trench to the Great Barrier Reef, wherever I go, home follows. Are you a superhero? No, I am an explorer. Pretty long introduction for someone who's not a superhero. Did you know your initials are Cowpaw? Yes, it is a fact that the baser intellect never fails to point out. And people say I have a silly name! Do they? How interesting.